Mel Casella, a native of Dublin, Ohio, not far from Columbus, getting ready to uh, go home this weekend for the game at Ohio State. Uh, like I said, as growing up in that area, I imagine this is one you had circled on the calendar. Uh, a lot of friends and family going to be there to see you? Yes, um, I'm so excited because not only my family and my friends, but all my club coaches will be there. Um, some of my past teammates on my club team are going to be there too, so we'll be playing against each other. And it sounds like you have a little bit of experience at Jesse Owens Stadium or where Ohio State plays some uh, camps over there. Over the years, it's a pretty nice facility. Mm-hmm. I've um, definitely I've had a chance to play there for the camps, and it's definitely really nice. All right, so the last nine games have been in the starting lineup, haven't left the field, so you've been uh, kind of an iron woman out there. Tell us a little bit about the defensive midfielder role. What are some of the things you focus on? You're just filling that role. And how important is the communication with you and primarily the center backs, whether it be Kim Love and Jess Warren or Marta Lynch or whoever might be back there? Um, it's very important because, I mean, if you're not talking to each other, it's just going to, I mean, the other team is going to take advantage of that and have the chance to score on you. So you got to make sure that if one of you is doing as well, you got to step up and say, hey, I know you can do better than that. Have you thought at all about, you know, the playing as many minutes as you have as a freshman? excited about going on the road this weekend to Columbus, Ohio. Uh, a huge match for both the Buckeyes and the Boilermakers this Sunday, 3 o'clock. Um, you know, for us, uh, we've had a little bit of time, six days, to uh, get our legs back under us and uh, get some training sessions and certainly address some topics that uh, we felt needed to be addressed uh, from the previous weekend. Um, trying to uh, just bring some things together, coordinate some movements offensively, organize ourselves defensively for what is a very talented Buckeye side. Um, Danica Wu pulls, pulls all the strings for them through this part of the center part of midfield. Um, so we definitely know we need to get some pressure there. A good, strong, athletic back line and uh, good forwards. Athletic, uh, you know, got great pace and Tiffany Cameron up top. And uh, just a side that works very, very hard. You know, we always found it a difficult place to play at Jesse Owens Stadium. So, you know, for us, it's uh, a massive three points having to go on the road. You know, we've got uh, three straight games on the road, um, you know, before we end with the three-game homestand. And so this is crucial for us to uh, not put ourselves in a position where, uh, you know, everything's do or die at the end of the season. So we go on the road uh, um, this weekend, leave on Saturday, and, uh, you know, come, you know, to for what is really essential uh, game to come away with and result. Uh, at the same time, I would think that the Buckeyes feel the same, both teams sitting mid-table. So a lot to play for this Sunday, and you know, I think our team's going to be highly motivated, energized, certainly rested. Um, you know, that's been the goal of the coaching staff. So uh, we'll, uh, we'll chat with you uh, Sunday night and see how things pan out. I had the opportunity to work with Kim at a, a high school camp, and um, you know I was just impressed by her, her versatility, her athleticism, uh, her dogged tenaciousness. Uh, she was a battler, whether she was playing as an attacking player or as a defender, and uh, you know that that attracted to me. Um, and then you know to find when you know you, you provide her coaching points and little small nuances to the games, and she was able to adapt and incorporate those. Um, and it, every time you you challenge her. You know, you're like, hey, you've got to be better at that. You, you find that she's going out and she's working extra on that. She's brought us bravery. She's intelligent. She understands, I think, the system. She shows up. You, you know what you're going to get from her on a, da a consistent daily basis, game in and game out. Um, and so, you know, for that, we rely upon her. And she stepped in and filled a huge void for our team, you know, with the graduation of seniors. And, uh, you know, just done a stalwart job for her. Certainly, she's uh, had a, a learning curve, you know, coming in as a freshman is playing, but all the experience she's garnering now is just going to, you know, pay, re will reap the dividends over the next three years. Okay. She shows up, she's got a, a training focus. She tends to be not only demanding of herself, but demanding of other players around her. And I think she's, she's done a very good job. And I, I've seen her grow in that, you know, in what is now her fourth year, and she's got a fifth year coming. So we still have, you know, um, she's still got more that she's capable of doing. But, you know, she, she tends to be consistent. She tends to be focused. And, uh, you know, just that, that consistency is something that you can build upon in, in every training session. 
Um, how has she helped out the younger goalkeepers who are eventually going to have to take her spot one day? You know, she, she does a really good job of mentoring, you mm -hmm. know, and like I said, the first thing is she comes out and trains, and I think mm -hmm. that, that focus and that intensity, she just mm -hmm. demonstrates, you know, how it should be done. And then she's always got a kind word. She's always got a word for them, you know, when they're coming back off of a drill or something, you know, um, maybe you try this, maybe tweak here, a different, you know, step, that type of thing. And she was, she's, I think she's someone who's going to become a very good coach. Mm -hmm. She's already done some, uh, you know, coaching on, you know, in the summer and that type of thing. And I think, you know, just watch her when we do clinics and that type of thing. It's something that she's very comfortable mm -hmm. in. She's got very good knowledge of the game. I think, you know, she'll, she'll do a great job in that. And I think she's passing along information that she's garnered over the past three and a half years right now to our younger players. Mm -hmm.